Well, howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. You know, a few weeks back, I did a video about this here. It's this little um, Euro rack case that I built, how I was gonna make it into a bioelectric skiff. Well, as you can see, it's made quite a bit of progress since then. Amongst other things, I added a handle. Um, and it's almost full. You can see there's four HP here that are missing. And today, I got this, the FX8 from Happy Nerding, and I'm gonna drop it in there to finish out uh, the last four HP. But um, the goal of this is to actually make it a portable bioelectric skiff so I can take it out in the forest or wherever and you know actually integrate with plants in their natural sort of environment. And that's why you see the garden lister in here and then I've sort of just kind of built out the rest of it with things. Some of these modules I already had, some of them I purchased for this, some of them I built myself. So interesting mix. Let's get into it and talk a little bit about this case. Okay, so before we install the FX aid, we'll just take a real quick look at what's already in here. So from the left here, this is the garden listener from Clatter's Machines. This is the module that allows it to interface with plants or anything that's bioelectric. Um, so that is why that's in there. That's kind of essential. Then if you go this way, you see this is the 2HP VCO and then the 2HP sign. And in between them is a 1HP blank from... Pittsburgh modular, and that just makes it so they're not quite so cramped together. But both of these, the VCO and the sign, are both um, oscillators. Uh, next to that, we've got the Erica Pico R&D. This is a sine wave LFO with a random trigger generator, a random voltage generator, and a white noise generator built in. Um, so this is really kind of a cool module, 3 HP. Next to it is the Triple Five from Little Fish Audio. It's just a basic envelope generator. Um, it's got uh, the ability here to loop it, and then it can work in uh, standard mode, trigger mode, uh, or re-trigger mode. Next to that, we've got the Triad from IntelliGel. This is a mixer slash offset generator slash inverter um, slash attenuator, basically your CV processor. Next to that, I've got the Bastel Propus, and this is a fixed filter. And this, I'm not super married to this one. I don't know that it really makes a whole lot of sense in this case, but when I got all these modules, I was like, hmm, I've got two HP still open. What fits in there that I've already got because I didn't want to go out and buy something. Um, but next to the Propist is the Simple Gates from CCTV. I actually did a video about that DIY module, super cool module, dual low pass gate with um, three different settings. Uh, then we've got the blank space and then next to that is the head out from Synthrotech. This is a output module slash headphone amp. Um, really, really cool again. And then next to that, we've got the Bixa from Sylph Modular. And this is essentially their version of the Mutable Instruments ears. I think adding some effects to this might really complete the package. So that's what we're gonna do here with the FX Aid. So if you're not familiar with this module, this is a 4HP module from Happy Nerding that is a multi-effects module and it has 32 banks of effects. Oh, that's kind of different. They put this little protection sleeve around it. Anyway, it has 32 different um, uh, memory spots for effects that you change with these buttons and you can load whatever you're interested in in those spots. So if you want it to be 32 different reverbs, you can do that. If you want it to be half reverbs and half delay, you can do that. If you want to have reverbs, delays, choruses, flangers, et cetera, et cetera, you can do that too. Now, one thing to note, uh, there is still one open power connector, but you can see I can't get to it through this little thing, so I'll have to take a module or two out. So let's go ahead and take this one out. What you notice here is these are thumb screws. Now, these are not the Bifaco Nurleys. So let me see if I can hold them close to the camera here. There you go. They're not, but they're very similar. Uh, so what I did is I just went to a hardware store, just an ordinary hardware store, and I said, do you have any M2.5 six millimeter thumb screws? That's what this is. If you go to any hardware store and ask for that, I got a bag of a hundred, it was nine bucks. Okay, so that is plugged in. So let's go ahead and seat that module. Bam. And then we can drop the simple gates back in. Bam. And one thing I wanna show you while I've got this out here. So you remember originally, if you watched that last video, I'll put that up over here, but if you watched that last video, I originally put the output module right here, the head out from Synthrotech, and then I decided I didn't really like it there, so instead I took it out and I put a passive malt there, um, and this of course is the power supply here, and then I put the, um, the output module up here so I could 
have a little better access to it. Okay, so here is my power bank. I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in, hit the power switch and we should see lights. We do. We see flashing lights on a couple of the modules. Of course, I can make that one loop, uh, but we see lights here on the new FX aid. So that tells us that it is probably working. I guess the next thing to do is to build a patch or two. So there you have it, folks. That's the new bioelectric skiff. As I said before, it might change a little as time goes on, but I'm really happy with this to get started. I think it's a great uh, complement of modules. I'll do some more videos here in the coming months. Uh, of course, right now, really focused on the move. So, um, you know, I'm not sure how many times you'll see this again before I move, but it's here. It's great. If you like what I do on this channel, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up.